So I'm here today to test run DJI drones. The first one is Avatar, the other one is uh, DJI Mini Pro 3. And um, I bought the two, I've been using them for a long time now and I feel like maybe they are good. Yeah, this is GoPro. I will test run these DJI drones um, also with GoPro camera. Like, subscribe and give your comments in the comment section. Uh, this is what they call the DJI um, avatar and you can use this one to fly indoors I've recorded so many videos where you can use this one to fly indoors but I just want to show you how it works so just like the Mini 3 Pro I also have three batteries for it so that if I, in case I'm flying one I can easily like you know the battery gets weakened and then I remove it and then I fix it so to fix the battery is not really hard so you just hold this and then you pull it like a pull out <coughs> and then when you, you know you take the battery you fix it and then the connector which is here you also try and clip it and then you also hear that sound when it is done this is the connector for the GoPro camera if I want to put GoPro camera on it and um, basically this is how it works and this is the DJ avatar and uh, you can see how it works so uh, when it is done you press the power button here which is like this and then it comes on the indicator and when it is on you cannot really use this drone without using goggles so you put this on the floor and I want to wear goggles with this on the camera here and uh, this is a goggle go goggle I want to wear the goggle I have to like wear it over my head and I keep it to my height but this is the dangerous part I don't know what I'm doing and then here there's a power button that you're gonna press and when you press it you see the green indicator here I hear that beep, beep. and then inside you see the old thing coming up and setting up but maybe I'll show you when I'm recording it and then I'll wear this I'm saying something else indoors and I have to like adjust my eyes to say the RST remote is like a gamepad and this is the antenna and then when you clip up the antenna you press this button also you can see the green button after connecting the dj avatar with the remote controller and the goggles it's now time to fly let's try this
that's how you fly the EGI avatar. But what I want to try next is how you can put the GoPro camera on the avatar. That was already damaged my DJ Mini, Mini 3 Pro, and I want to see whether we can try it with this. If it is good, I think um, we're getting there. This is my face. Pop, 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 pop. So I'll be back very soon. Boop. Yeah, silently or very, very carefully. You can't do anything silently. Uh, yeah, when you do that, uh, look, it's the other way around. So it's be the other way around. And then this pin, uh, you clip the pin and then you lock it. When you lock it, you can see. You see me? So this is a GoPro camera and this is a DJI camera. So anyone can be recorded. You can see myself in the, in the, in the phone, in the iPhone. The battery, everything is on point. I can just blow it a little bit. The only the only side way to this is that whenever the avatar is working, the noise of the avatar affects the GoPro to be hearing wing sound I do enjoy it. But notwithstanding, I think it's cool. I like the setup and it's very very cool for you to use. So I'm gonna put this on the floor right now and we're gonna start our next demonstration as we do it. So So that's a GoPro camera and it truly really flew well and um, you can see the surroundings and everywhere and um, people are really marveled about it. What I've not really tried is the GoPro and DJ High Mini Pro 3. I tried it and I damaged it so I want to try it one more time but this time I won't fly so high. Stay tuned for DJI Mini Pro 3 presentation in my next page. Follow them down for more.